Opening race we can to the Women's Monobob World Cup at Whistler in Canada. Nine sleds from four nations heading into the second heat. Switzerland's Melanie has to put down a fifth best start and a fifth best run in the first of the two heats of the women's mono here in Whistler. And with Kim Kalicki of Germany just close behind her after the first run, only eight hundreds in her pocket, she needed another good trip and the Swiss driver produced it. First time racing here in Whistler, she had one week of pre-season training and then the official runs to dial herself in in the monobob and the two-seat sled and it looked like the results were positive. Melanie Hassler into the lead with four sleds to go. Just a few hundreds ahead of Hassler, 12 hundreds in fact, Olympic and world monobob champion Kaylee Humphreys. She grew up sliding in Canada before moving to the USA and knows this track like the back of her hand. Nevertheless, she was still having to fight for every hundredth of a second to keep her advantage alive. Good speed, but low down, just one or two tiny errors creeping in, enough to rob her of a potential runaway. And at the line, it was closer than she would have wanted. Just enough to keep her in the lead with three sleds to go. Kaylee Humphreys on the fringes of a medal. Into the top three with two Canadians and an Olympic champion remaining. Cynthia Appiah, the start record holder, got even closer to matching it with her second run just a couple of hundreds away. And another good run was required to stay ahead of former teammate Humphreys. Little mistakes early on meant that her 12 hundreds of a second advantage was gradually being eroded and as she neared the finishing line, she was just a whisker in front. She would need all of her ability to hang on, duck for the line and it was just enough. She was in the medals, 2 hundreds in front of the Olympic champion. Final two sleds included rookie Bianca Ribi, just one World Cup start to her credit as a break woman for her teammate Alicia Rissling in 2019. But her debut as a driver saw her within a fraction of leading the field, just a hundredth behind after the first heat. And her second run looked even better, holding off teammate Cynthia Appiah and building her advantage over her Canadian teammate. A little flop late on, just a reminder that this track is fast and tricky. But it was Bianca Ribi who guaranteed herself at least a silver medal on her World Cup debut as a driver. The final sled was that of our Olympic women's bobsleigh champion, Lara Nolter. She'd had one hundredth of a second in hand after the first heat, but her first run was a little bit of a mismatch. It wasn't as good as we'd expected. She looked for more in the second heat, but looked a little too far and 50-50 claimed another victim. Pushed away in 11 and 12, she rolled over in corner 13 and across the line, she would end up only seventh. She and teammate Lisa Bukvitz both crashing in the second heat. Both were okay and Bianca Ribi ended up the surprised winner from Cynthia Appiah and Kaylee Humphreys. And it is Reby who leads the World Cup standings after an astonishing debut on home ice.